And now, first warn five weather. 643 this morning. Thanks for waking up with us. Uh, not too chilly here. Actually, a little bit warmer than it has been the last two mornings. A different story up to the north, though, in the state. 34 in Abilene right now, 38 in Midland, 28 in Amarillo, all because of this cold front. So we are the warmest ones in the state right now, but this cold front is making its way here. It's going to arrive here in the afternoon and bring that drier, cooler air with it. Ahead of it, uh, there have been a few showers and storms, and uh, things are relatively mild, but we're just not going to be warming up much today. And not the best day to head out to the beach or be in the bay. Uh, bay temperature 75, the Gulf temperature at 74. Seas, though, are a little bit higher than they have been the last two mornings, 6 to 12 feet. And actually, we have a small craft advisory and a gale warning in effect. Uh, so if you have any small boats out there, you're not going to be out on the bay or, uh, and on the bay or out in the Gulf. Uh, and a little bit more of a rip current threat as well because of those high winds that we're seeing today. Sustained 20 to 30, but gusts maybe as high in isolated spots up to 40 miles per hour. So not the best day for boating or being out the beach. Don't worry, we'll have some better days ahead of us. So just during the early morning hours, a small chance of rain. Really not that impressive, just some isolated showers. And then the drier air that everybody else in the state is enjoying will be moving in here. And we'll see the clouds break up. And we're going to have mostly sunny skies by later this afternoon. Highs today cooler than yesterday, only around 70 degrees. Now, let's track through. And over the next week, what's going to be happening? We're going to start with tomorrow. Lots of sun. Uh, uh, still a cool day. Highs in the low 70s. But then we're going to start a warming trend. Some warmer air is going to work in here. And we'll keep warming up uh, until Saturday. There is a cold front that arrives, but this is going to be a very weak cold front. Not going to produce any rain. There's hardly going to be any change. We're just going to cool down a couple degrees for Sunday. But notice, no rain associated with that front. And we're still going to be enjoying mostly sunny skies on Sunday. The next front that's going to have impacts for us doesn't arrive until all the way until next, maybe next Wednesday morning. Some models are keeping it dry as it comes through. Others, though, are producing rain. And what we do see is a little bit more impressive change in temperatures. That might kick our temperatures back down into the 70s after a nice stretch of temperatures in the 80s. But not today. Cooler than it was yesterday. 70 degrees, 30% uh, chance of scattered showers this morning, and mainly in our eastern counties. Uh, and it's just not going to... The chance of seeing any rain in our western county is really uh, not going to happen as that drier air is coming in here pretty quick. And we're going to see the clouds break up in the afternoon. It's going to be windy, though. Gusts up to 35 miles per hour, so that 70 is probably going to feel a little bit cooler than normal. And then tonight, uh, those clear skies and those winds dying down, 46 for our overnight low. Be sure to grab the jacket if you're heading out tonight and starting the Thanksgiving celebrations. If you're waiting until tomorrow, though, it's going to be a nice one. Not as windy as today. A little bit chilly in the morning, but in the afternoon, 73 degrees, lots of sun, no rain to worry about. If that's too cool for you, don't worry. We are going to see a warming trend. 78 for our high Friday, but watch out Friday morning. Again, Black Friday shoppers, notice that low of 44. If you're going to be staying in line, you're going to want those jackets. Not so much in the afternoon, though. We keep warming up from there, though. 85 on Saturday. Maybe that front cools us down to 83 on Sunday. A gradual increase in cloud cover, still partly cloudy. No more rain to worry about until maybe next Wednesday when that next cold front gets here. And that will probably push our temperatures back down into the 70s on Wednesday. But overall, a pretty nice forecast. Only chance of rain will be very early this morning before a nice dry stretch.